Europe shipment has officially been put away for November. Next one is in March. I do want to go through a few animals with you guys through video this time instead of just random photos I post. Just a quick disclaimer. Um, obviously the animals are not in appropriate size enclosures that they should be kept in. So I want to make that very clear. However, many... I'm trying not to point fingers or anything, but as a general rule of thumb, many importers and exporters, not all obviously, but a, a good chunk that gives a bad stigma to us importers are that they're kept in their deli cups or bags for a week plus on end. That does not happen here. Honestly, I have to pack everybody up as of Saturday, Sunday for exports and domestic shipping. But everyone gets water, everyone gets an enclosure, the lizards this time will be getting fed, the snakes will not because that will cause transportation stress and regurgitation. However, lizards will be fed today and then again the following day. Not tomorrow, but the next day. So they get fed every other day and waters will be kept clean as needed. So we're going to go through everybody. This is Palawan mangrove cat snake. Beautiful approximate four foot male. Right from the Netherlands. Here, hopefully we get to get a glimpse of him. Beautiful Carinata Juby. Supposedly a male. I'll have to check that. Now for the oddball species like that, I actually do carry in my freezer frogs and if other species need it, they get thawed geckos. We have mice, we have fish. We ensure we have the full variety the species may or may not need. Here we have a square-headed cat snake. These are one of the few boega you could actually keep together without much problems. Let's see if I get a better shot here. There we are. Very cool. Not easy to see, but we have a long-term captive. Sulawesi black mangrove that came in. And in here is the largest dendrophylla dendrophylla, which is Indonesian mangrove steak, I have ever seen in my life. Just for an example, here's my hand next to her. Now this is a good size. Oh, let's come on, focus. There we go. This is a good size for a melanota, but in this case, this is definitely not a melanota. That's just water I poured in, by the way, in case anyone's wondering. She's a big girl, and her other half is sitting back here. This beautiful guy has been a semi-long-term resident. He is, however, leaving on the 30th to the USA. And we have two wonderful brown tree snakes. Boega irregularis, another species that are compatible together. So another thing you'll notice, obviously I keep a few species together. You won't be absurdly, you know, crammed or anything, but anything that's compatible that I'm not having to feed for a few days, again like the snakes in this case, they do stay together. So for example, there's four bamboo rat snakes that are male in this particular bin. And here's a lovely example of one of them that came from Germany. Now this species is pretty interesting. Oh, come here. While he's all blotchy right now, this is actually a four-lined rat snake. He will lose all these blotches in due time, which honestly, I personally prefer the baby look, but not everyone does. Very cool European native species. Some German captive bred Mandarin rat snakes are here as well. 
And these awesome little diplodactylus. I have no idea what the common name is for these, but most people just write down DG Rex for these ones. Hiding in here we have a beautiful trio of Lucasium de Mayum. I believe the common name is, a, is an Australian jeweled gecko. I might be very wrong on that, but that's what's sticking in my head right now. These guys will also be available at some point. Here's a beautiful Latifasciata I've been holding on to <clears throat> since my UK import. She, I believe, is also leaving on the 30th. And here are some Royal Diadem rat snakes. Six of these came in. This is one of them. And an example of another. These guys, as they age, will get calico-like spots. They will be black blotches, brown blotches, and orangish colored blotches. And tis the season for baby rhinos. Have about 10 of these that came in. You got quite a cool mask going on there, buddy. It's very long compared to normal. Here is a Vietnamese Blue Beauty that also came from the UK. She is leaving for the 30th to the USA as well. And this one's a must show. Beautiful. I don't know quite how to pronounce it, but I think it's the Wichita Mountain collared lizard. This is one of the males out of two pairs that came in. This door I'm not opening. These are speed demons and a half. Australian long nose dragon, also known as Goedon long rostris. And a bull snake that desperately wants some food. He's always begging. This one is pretty nifty. Um, I think, I forget the exact common name. It's Soromalus hispidus. Uh, I think it's like the Angel Island Chiquala or something of the sort. I don't quite recall, but a pretty uncommon, fairly large Chiquala species. This is a species I have not seen for a while. Variegated geckos. And there's a leucistic one kind of hiding in the back corner there. Little UVB right there from Vivtech. And their heat actually comes from the T5s below in the other units. And it heats up the floor right here. Gorgeous. However, in shed. Redline the first Levis Levis. And another one. There is a pair of 2022s. And a pair of 2021s that will be available. These guys are pretty cool. Not much right now at this size, but as they get older, they are going to be ridiculous looking. These are red albino underwoodosaurus milli. And we have some awesome bearded anoles hanging out. Here's the female, and that is a male. And in here, oh, you guys have two hides and you're all together. Here, interesting. Juvenile Ridley Eye that just came in. Can't go wrong with captive bred Spilodes sulfurous. How cool is that? This one I'm not opening. But we have baby Pseudogecko smaragdinus. That's a Polilo false gecko, even though they are a gecko. It's a little backwards. And here we got a pair of green bush rat snakes. So this is a little temporary spot for a very cool animal. Oh, you're just gonna come say hi. All right, Exanthic Boiga dendrophila divergence. You can 
see that beautiful blue in between those white stripes. There's a pair of these that did come in, as well as some normals. We have a handful of Juvie Palawan mangrove snakes. 1.2 will be available. However, they are not cheap. So please keep that in mind. And we have eight Boiga Cyanea Juvies that have come in as well. These are all spoken for. We have lots of little Strophurus. This is Strophurus Lemigaris, little juvenile. Back here, blending in. Let's see if we can get a focus in. There you are. Another one just hanging out on a branch. This is home too. Hopefully, we could get a peek. No guarantees. But hopefully, they were visible. I don't know if they were, but Strophurus elderi. Here we have a beautiful Saltorius cornutus. Some Australian leaf tail have been babysitting for a little while, waiting on CITES permits. For anyone that cannot see him easy, his head is right there. I've got an arm, and body, and tail is up here. For baby Chauffeurus ciliaris. Right here. I don't know where number four is right now. Somewhere over the rainbow. Oh, there he is. Right there. And a adult pair, like freaking Hulk size male, golden tail, geckos, Strophurus tanicata. Here is one of the two, Bronia orita. Very hard. Oh, there we go. A pair of Abronia graminia. They're kind of hiding away right now. Super beautiful captive bred Falsuma grandis. Even cooler, in my opinion. We have three beautiful paradise flying snakes. These are specifically the variabilis. Extremely rare subspecies. And these are captive bred babies that will be available. Oh, the other one's down there in the plant. And here we have two, excuse me if I pronounced this wrong, Juvenile Abronia Lythrochilla, or Lythrochilla, I'm not sure which one it would be. Very beautiful, Eoplatus Abenawi.